Uh, another one from the live stream. If a fan came to you yep. and asked you to produce him or her, would you? Here's what I would say is, is that um, I love hearing when, when fans come and say they've written a song or you know, when they want to sing one of my songs for me. Um, any chance I get to meet with people that, that care about music and, and are passionate about it is always a great thing for me. Um, but as, you know, I, I feel like if I was to commit a, a day or two to producing a song that I'd want to hear them sing first and hear the song and make sure it's cool and then give it to it. Um, because you know, it really does, it, it does take a lot out of you to kind of um, pour your heart into a song if it means that much to you. And, and um, I really try to give all that I can into, into a song and producing it. Um, and so I, I think even with artists, I'm a bit selective. And that's why I think this is such a cool opportunity because the person that we pick will be someone that I, I think I, I look at and, and say, I really feel like I can commit um, who, who I am as a producer to this. All right, uh, another question for the live stream. What is the most important thing to do if you are an aspiring songwriter? Sure, well, songwriting is an interesting thing, I feel like, because you have to make a decision if you want to uh, be a songwriter that just wants to speak to people and, and write things that um, people can relate to and, and that will be popular. Or if you want to try to write things that are real to you and use it as your way to express yourself. And then I think that you can really find that balance where you can do both. And, and that's where I think the, kind of the great songwriters come. Um, and, and I think that over the years, my brothers and I, and me individually, we, we've tried to find a way to balance, you know, saying what we want to say in the song from a personal standpoint, um, and speaking about things that are real to us, while also trying to make it just general enough to reach out to our audience and have them connect with it in their own way. All right, you guys have been shut out long enough. Another question from Little Kids Rock. How do you feel when you're performing? You know, when I'm performing, it's an amazing thing. And I keep going back to it, but it's that thing of uh, seeing people sing along with you. And, and we, we sort of do a little bit too much when we do some like, crowd interaction, but it's just because we find so much joy out of seeing you know, the fans, you guys like that, sing along with us. Um, plus, you know, we, we hate the sound of our own voices. <laughs> <laughs> Another question from Little Kid Rock. How long did it take you to get to where you are today? It could take about 18 years. <laughs> Unless someone's lying. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, um, as far as you know, professional career goes, um, I, I started when I was seven doing the Broadway shows. So that was about 11 years ago. And, and it, it's funny to think that I've, I've, I've been doing this for that long, but um, I've really learned a lot along the way. And, and you know, I started writing and recording music when I was about 11, kind of making that the focus. And uh, my brothers and I were signed to Columbia Records first when we lived here in New Jersey. And um, we, had, uh, we had great experiences there. We learned a lot as artists. And, um, it didn't work out there. And we actually, uh, we had uh, a tough time. You know, our record didn't sell uh, very much. And we really had to make a decision um, if we wanted to continue uh, you know, working and, and writing music and, and touring and all the rest. Or if we just wanted to say, all right, well, we invested a lot of time and money into this, hoping that something would happen and it hasn't, and we'll just stop. And uh, that was about you know six, seven years ago. And we're really thankful that we did because um, we had an amazing journey together, and the journey's still continuing. And uh, as we kind of branch out and do our own things as individuals, I feel like my brothers and I are blessed to say that um, we've already had a, a career we're really proud of and, and looking forward to it, the future as a whole. Thank you for the question. Do you have any more? Oh, yeah, let's one more. What's your favorite song? Uh, of all time, or of mine? Is it specific to anything? Yours. Ooh. <laughs> well, yeah, it's tough because I got to break it down if I do that. I have a couple different categories. Um, but, you know, you know, as a writer, things that are really personal to you, and, and that you, know, you feel that you were able to say exactly what you wanted to say in that moment and what's going on in your life, um, or just in general, a song that is a whole package you're really excited about. Um, and as I've kind of done a lot of this writing and producing this year, um, written about 60-something songs just this year, um, and I feel like out of those, there's, there's five I'm really excited about. And of things I've released with my brothers, uh, a song called A Little Bit Longer is one that I'm really excited about. Um, it's a song that's really personal to me about my diabetes, and um, I feel like everyone can kind of connect with it in their own way, which is a special thing. 
And then uh, for our first single off our, our second album called SOS, the one that I was really proud of. Cool. Thanks for the questions, guys. Now, we asked all those questions so you could properly warm up your voice. Are yeah. you properly warmed up? Yeah, I feel like my, my talking voice is kind of like a lot lower and softer than my singing voice. <laughs> so it kind of works the opposite direction as far as trying to warm it up. But I feel good. I've, I've been singing all day. So. You, you ready? Uh, yeah. I, they're going to sing along. You, with are you guys ready? So Nick is going to perform, I believe, three songs for you right now, and I'm going to leave the stage. Spotlight is yours. Uh-oh. I know it sounds like it. It's my first time. But I will, I will say, it's funny, you know, I, I did have the opportunity to uh, do a, a side project record, which was really fun for me, um, kind of split off, and, and it's a bit different musically than, than the Jonas Brothers sound. And so I, uh, I'm going to play a couple of those songs for you today. If you know it, great, please sing along, it'll be really, really cool. If you don't, don't sing along. Because <laughs> then it's just going to sound like a bunch of mumbling. Right? Um, but yeah, this first one's called Rose Garden. <laughs> She was brought into this world Out of a beautiful mistake When her mom was just a girl And her daddy didn't say She was working at age nine At the flower shop in town Working on just to survive Cause life was throwing her around In the rose garden Where the rain is falling And the thorns are shopping Rose garden Thank you. 